How to get started. You're ready to go. How do I get started? Well, the general requirements to get a real estate license are you have to be 18 years of age or older. You have to prove you're in the United States legally, and you can't be convicted too often of certain crimes. The process is you have to complete three college-level courses. You don't have to go to college. I'll talk about that. And then you have to pass a salesperson's licensing exam given by the Bureau of Real Estate. And then you have to apply to get a license. That's when they want fingerprints and proof that you're in the United States legally. So to apply to take the exam, you have to complete a form. You have to attach your transcripts. You have to pay them at least $60, and you mail it. And that does mean mail. I mean mail with an envelope and a stamp to the Bureau of Real Estate. People are saying, well, I can sign up online. Can't I? No. No, you can't. And I find that hard to believe, but... Welcome. Think of the Department of Motor Vehicles, right, and the Department of Real Estate. There's some similarities. Right? you got to mail it. Now, uh, it's right now taking about eight weeks to get a test date. Um, it's at least six weeks from the day you apply to the day you actually could possibly be taking the test. Before you can even do this, however, you have to complete a college-level course in real estate principles, a college-level course in real estate practice, and an elective. And the elective can come from any one of those classes. Our program uses finance because it's the most practical of those of that list, right? Um, but those that is principles, practice, and one from this list. Now the options: Where would I get these courses? Well, you could go to college. Very few people choose that route. It's not cheap to go to college, and it takes a really long time. You have to start when they start, and usually it's a three-hour class once a week for 15 weeks, and that's just one. You have to do this three times, right? You could spend a year and spend $700 going to college. Our program involves an online college-level courses. Let me explain how an online college-level course works. You enroll in Real Estate Principles. You log into the website. You download the textbook. It's a PDF. It's done to save costs, right, to reduce costs. It's the one of the best-selling real estate principles textbooks. You can buy it on Amazon. You could, if there was a bookstore, if there were any bookstores left, you could go in and buy one there. You could probably check it out of the library if you actually wanted the hard copy of the book. You wait 18 days, minimum, two and a half weeks, to take the final exam. So you've downloaded the book, you read the book, there's quizzes in the books and answers and quizzes in the books and answers, and after two and a half weeks, you can take the final exam. The final exam is a online test. You can take it at home. It's open book. Right? Is everybody, are you getting this? It's a online at home open book. Cheat as much as you want to. Final exam. Right? You can cheat as much as you want. And by the way, the PDF, for those of you that are familiar with the, if it's control F or command F, depending on which religion you are, um, will allow you to search a PDF document. So if they're asking you a question about FERPTA, F-I-R-P-T-A, and you say, I forgot what FERPTA is, and you go control F and F-I-R-P-T-A and hit find, it's going to find every place it mentions FERPTA, right? Yes. It is time to get two and a half hours to answer 100 questions and get 60 of them right, right? That's a, it's a high standard, need a D minus. 60, uh, now do you understand you could all pass this test right now? If I gave you the book, it's got an index, right? And I gave you two and a half hours, you could look up, right, 60 answers. In fact, one, one woman who went through the school, she forgot to download the PDF. She just never bothered to download the PDF. And so all she did is ask Google questions, right? The ones that she didn't know the answers to, she'd just type in, what is FERPTA, right? You know, and oh, Wikipedia, right? And she passed the exam. You get the idea, right? So this is not a difficult thing to do, right? You're, it's an online open book. Cheat as much as you want. Final exam. Now you've done that. You've step one, right? You've done the three college level courses. You're ready to take the state licensing test. That's 150 multiple guess. I, I, I mean, multiple choice questions. A, B, C, D, pick the best answer. No essays, no fill in the blanks, no true false. A, B, C, D, pick the best answer. You need to get 70% of those questions right in order to pass. Does that sound like a 
high score to require 70 percent does that really sound like a like a high i mean think of it you're laying on the operating table and your brain surgeon walks in and he's pulling on his gloves and he says don't worry i passed the brain surgeon's exam i got seven i nailed that test right i got 70 percent right and you're thinking gee that means you missed one out of it more than one out of every four questions they asked you about the subject of brain surgery that doesn't sound very good, does it? The 30% he didn't know, what if that's what he's doing to you, right? You understand? So do you have to be a brain surgeon to get a real estate license? Does it seem like you have to be a, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to get a real estate. All you have to do is get 70% uh, percent of 100. It's 105 out of 150 questions and you've passed. Having said that, over half the people who take the test fail it. You can't look. This is not an online open book. Cheat as much as you want. Test. They have monitors watching you. Every time they give the test, they fail more than half the people in the room. Many of them, they've failed before. We estimate that about 70% of the people fail on the first try because we know they fail 50% every time they give the test. And I get a list of the people taking the test, and I can see that they were on it before and before and before. How many of those people that fail successfully completed the three online open book cheat as much as you want to college level courses all of them right you understand all of them because you can't even take the test without doing the three college level courses my point which may be subtle is is that just doing the three college level courses does not mean you're going to get a real estate license right you, you, under, you understand let me just those college level courses are more like diploma mills right you you they're not trying to fail anyone right the whole idea is you give them money and they get you a certificate as easy as they can right you understand they want you to tell everybody oh yeah to take these guys cars it was so easy right that's what they want but then you go to the bureau of real estate they're trying to fail people right and they're actually very good at it and so the questions are way harder far more difficult so what i do is I have classes that teach you how to pass the real estate exam. And it works. There are, um, on the right-hand side, there are 12 live classes. They're held on Thursday nights from 6 to 8 in this very room. They're broadcast on the Internet. I have people all over the state of California going through the classes. I have people in Colorado, Illinois, and Florida right now going through the classes. So you don't actually have to be in the room. Sometimes there's more people online that are in the room. They're all recorded and replays are available for you to watch when it's convenient for you. After each class, there's practice testing. After the 12 classes, there's comprehensive practice testing. And before you go take the test, there's a Saturday crash course before that gives you the last shove. Now, you should be doing this. Notice on the left-hand side, principles, it says two and a half weeks. Minimum amount of time to complete. You can't do two of these at once. Principles, wait 18 days, take the final. Practice, wait 18 days, take the final. Finance, wait 18 days, take the final. That's assuming you're doing it as fast as you possibly can. That's seven and a half weeks. How long does it take to get a test date after that? About eight weeks. You know, just it, it takes three and a half months to get a real estate license if you're trying to do it as fast as you can. It just does. There's nothing you can really do. You would be doing the live classes while you're doing the college level courses. You just need to understand these are not three distinct separate courses. Principles and practices are 80% the same class. Same chapter, same, just same class, same stuff. And finance is 60% covered in principles and practices, right? So, and although the live classes are not designed to teach you the college level course, Right? They're designed to cover what you need to know to pass the real estate exam, right? which is the hard part, right? not the college level course. Um, there are 12 lessons, and um, they're sliced up like a pizza because <laughs> they're sort of cheesy. I don't know. Uh, the reason I say it's like a pizza with 12 slices is that people will sometimes say to me, let's say you had a pizza and you told your friend, go ahead, dig in. And he said, all right, which one's the first piece? Right? You'd say, well, what do you mean, which one's the first piece? There's 12, I mean, they're just 12 pieces, right? You can, you can start with, now I have 12 classes too, and they're all taught as independent modules. They don't build on each other. 
you don't have to begin with number one. You don't have to take them in order. And you can repeat them as often as you can stand it. <laughs> and it happens that this coming Thursday is lesson number one. I tried once not to number them, and people just went nuts. They said, what do you mean? Which one is number one? And I would, and I would do the pizza thing, and they would say, I don't care <laughs> which one's number one. All right, so Thursday's lesson number one, all right? Ownership and property, and then it goes on from there. Um, the college-level courses, those certificates that you get through our system comes from Career Web School. They're approved by the state of California to issue those certificates. I am not, because I do not do the college level course, right? But they do. They give you a certificate that the Bureau of Real Estate will like. Licensed classes are what I do. And the practice testing program comes from a company called Real Estate Trainers, who I've worked with since 1986, right? I was 12 back then. And I had a guy... Um, he enrolled in another company. I, 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 I won't say their name, but it was Chamberlain. He um, failed the exam twice. And he was at an Elan Pinnell office, and he had explained that he had failed the exam twice. And when no one was around, the receptionist gave him my card. He called me today in, from Oakland. He passed the test. And he told me that the Saturday workshop that about 70% of the questions I went over were on his exam. He was extremely happy, failed twice, passed the test. So the quality, people say, well, we got practice testing questions also. Yeah, right. But that doesn't mean that they are similar to the ones on the state exam. And more, very high pass rate. Virtually everyone who goes to the course passes on their first try. You don't pass on your second try, I'll give you your money back. I encourage you to come and sit through a class. There's no cost or obligation. That way you can see if you like it or not. If you enroll in our real estate school, you are not obligated to work for Keller Williams. We're not obligated to hire you either, I guess. Right? You understand? But frankly, that's why we're doing it. Um, and we have a placement program, and you could, we would help you find a spot at any one of the Keller Williams market centers in the United States. Can't, you need to get another license if you go outside of California, but you get the idea. Most of our offices have a 100% tuition rebate program, which means when you go there and work for them and sell your first house on your closing, they'll give you the tuition that you paid to go through the school. And speaking of that, the whole enchilada, the whole thing, everything tuition is $349. That includes the three college-level courses. It includes the 12 live classes. It includes the practice testing program and the Saturday workshop, $349. Chamberlain, by the way, charges $350 for essentially online classes. Um, if you already have the three college-level courses, and I meet people often that say, I already have the three college-level courses, it's $250. That means the 12 live classes, the video replays, the practice testing program, and the Saturday workshop. Many times at this point, there's somebody who's very unhappy because they've just done the arithmetic. And the math is, is that the three college level courses cost $99. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and at this point, they're incensed because they'll say to me, I paid $350 for three college. You paid $200 for... You pay three three hundred and fifty dollars twice. People are always, at chamber and people are always saying, "I paid one hundred twenty five dollars per class." I I I can't help you with that, right? I'm just saying, the college level course is ninety nine dollars, right? Um, and I anyhow, I'll explain. Once you pass the exam, you have to apply to get a license. It's two hundred and forty five dollars. This is my. How much does all this cost? How much does all this cost? And the, including the course and taking the state exam and having your fingerprints processed and having your fingerprints taken and getting your license and the initial joining of the Board of Realtors, which varies by month, and joining the multiple listing service and the sign-up fee for starting in the career and getting your training books and all that sort of stuff, um, about sixteen to $1,700. Right? Is that, right? That's what it costs. And how much is it going to cost me every month to just be in real estate? Um, about $225 a month. Just for the fees of being in the Board of Realtors, the MLS, and all that stuff. 
That's what it costs. And that's my contact information. If you're interested, um, those of you that are online, I'm going to, you'll get an email that has a recording of the, everybody's going to get the same email. And assuming I've, I've got your email and the, my phone number, if you would like to meet individually with me, if you'd like a one-on-one, -on -one, I have more questions. I have special, you know, call me and I'll be happy to schedule an appointment to talk to you. If you're saying, I don't even need to wait to sit through a class, I want to sign up right now. I'm sure I could see from the faces here, many of you are thinking just just that. If you go to my website, which is BRE or DRE, they change their name. So from the Department of Real Estate to the Bureau of Real Estate, both work. You would go here. By the way, if you want to go to the guest lesson, click on free guest lesson. And when you do that, you'll not only be registering, you could, you'll get the link for the webinar if you wanted to do it by webinars. Many people, I have people that have never showed up for a live class. They just, if you wanted to sign up now, you click on the sign up now button. That would seem to make sense. I, I made a video. This is hard for me to believe, but I made a video on how to sign up. Um, and the reason it's, some people find this confusing is you, there's really two parts. First of all, let's say you already have you already have the college. Let's start with this. You don't have the college level courses. You would right here, number two, it says here are the college level courses. You click on that and you get a discount through this link. And it's going to show you that what you want is the basic program. You do not want the works or the works deluxe. You want the basic program and the basic program costs ninety nine dollars. Why don't why don't I want the works or the works deluxe? This is a problem that many companies have. Notice it says here National Exam Preparation Guide and National Exam Preparation Guide. Almost all states have a two-tiered test. There's a national test that's an unnational test. And then there's a test on state law. I've done these classes in Nevada. Nevada had two tests, a national test and a Nevada law test. If you passed both exams and got a Nevada license, but you wanted to go to Washington State, within a year, you would be able to transfer your national test to Washington State. They would just make you take Washington law, right? Because you already took the national test. Right? California does not use this system. Some of you are probably shocked to know that California does not do what everybody else does. California does not use the national testing system. They write their own questions. You see the problem? Because what most company, if you see a company that says, we have courses everywhere, we have Florida courses and New York courses and Colorado courses and Texas courses and Arizona courses and a California course, you have to understand that they probably shortchanged California because everybody else uses the same system. So the practice questions that I use comes from a company that I've worked with for a really long time, and they only do California, right? Do you understand? So you don't want their national stuff, right? You understand? We are doing this because it's a cheap college level course that's easy to get through. Then the live classes, which is the first part here, is $250. You click on that. You see, if you need the full thing, you have to enroll twice, once for the college level, once for the live classes. If you've already got the college level, you only have to do this once. You create a profile which includes a username and a password. And the once you've paid, it unlocks the site and you have access to all the videos immediately. They're already there, right? All 12 classes are required. I've been doing this a while. People sometimes say, who's getting my credit card information? My merchant account is with a little local company down the street called PayPal. And you could pay with PayPal. You could use a Visa, MasterCard, a Discover, or an American Express. And I've, these other two, I've never really, they're used in Europe, I believe. But anyhow, um, when you click check out with PayPal, you're going to see a screen that's probably very familiar to you. It's PayPal, right? You understand? So that's who gets your credit card information. And for most of you, they probably already have it, right? They, they probably they do. Um, and then they, being PayPal, sends a little thing to my website and that unlocks it. And in, within a minute, you could be watching videos and having fun. Any questions? And uh, any, if you're online, you guys have been quiet. You could ask a question too. Well, 
If you would like to meet with me individually, you've probably got my number already. If not, you will very soon. Uh, you can call and we can make an appointment. But if you come and sit through a class, right? So that's the best way to see what you're getting yourself into. That's it. Thank you for coming.